Bells on the Bus, a Dousman Transport Christmas Story, an adaptation of Twas the Night Before Christmas by Peggy Neuenhuis, in loving memory of Robin Legan. Twas a few nights before Christmas, when at the bus barn, not one driver, tech, or manager was found. The buses were parked and plugged in with care, with the feel of frost and snow in the air. With buses nestled all snug in the sheds, there were visions of peace and calm ahead. It was then I remembered my phone in the bus. Out the door I did run with a groan and a fuss. Away to my bus I ran like a flash, tore open the bus door and saw a large stash. The light of the moon and the shed's lights glow gave a luster to trinkets and objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear, t'was a mischief of mice gathering with no fear. The little spry mice dashed so lively and quick. In the back of the bus, the sound of music? One mouse stood apart, giving instructions with aim, and he greeted and invited each mouse by name. Welcome, Guy, Robin, Cody, and Mandy. Greetings, Maggie and Tiffany. Hello, Taffy and Candy. To the top of the steps, to the side of the wall. Pick up those baubles. Let's deck this hall. As festive music and spirits arose, each mouse felt the magic down to their toes. So up went the trinkets and tinsels galore, filling the tree with loot from the floor. Welcome, mouse friends from far and near. Hear the sounds of bells ringing with Christmas cheer. Then in a twinkling, atop of the bus roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. The mischief gazed up towards a red blinking glow, the nose of a certain reindeer we know. I heard a commotion. As I turned around, through the hatch of the bus roof, St. Nicholas did bound. He was welcomed by all with hollers and hoots, and they glamoured and gathered around his red boots. Bells chiming and ringing with his every move, joyous sounds of the season, they all did approve. The bundle of gifts he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Twas the littlest mouse with the tiniest of squeaks, as Santa to join them in their grand Christmas feast. Santa's eyes, how they twinkled, his smile, how merry, thanking his friends, said, I mustn't tarry. As Santa left, he told each one of the mice, live the Christmas spirit daily, always be nice. The mice nodded and smiled at the merry old elf, and I laughed when I thought I could apply this myself. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod through the bus hatch, he rose. The mischief of mice watched as he disappeared, saying, See you again, as they let out a cheer. I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.